Having trouble with your music, you don't know what to do You're stuck on a project, don't know how you'll make it through Well, DJ Megan, that is here, he'll turn that frown upside down We'll show you some cool stuff on the School of Sounds Welcome to the School of Sound with DJ Mega Man. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a tempo transition inside of Ableton Live. I get a lot of questions from DJs on how to make an effective transition. This is an example of how to make a transition going from 130 BPM to 80 BPM with the record by Big Sean Dance. So that's the transition. First and foremost, you want to make sure you come down here to your master track, select song tempo, and you got to decide the range of your BPMs right here. So I chose 130, which I think is a good tempo for a lot of DJs. They want to usually go down from there. Um, the reason why I chose 160 instead of 80 is because when you go down to 80, you know, a lot of times in a club setting, you don't want to have a decrease in energy. You usually want to have an increase in energy. So I chose to go up because it kind of keeps the energy going. And I think it's a better way to kind of come across. Now, as you can see down here on bar 17, I made a little marker right here. I'll just do this so you guys can see. And then at bar 25, made another marker and brought it all the way up to 160, like so. Now, here is where I set up a kick drum. What I did was I took a kick threw it inside of drum rack. There's our kick drum. Put a little compression on it, but just to kind of smooth out the level and uh, maybe even bring it up a little bit. Now for the clap, what I did was I took the original clap from the Big Sean record and put it with the kick drum that I found. Added a little reverb, um, nothing too drastic, 0.8% on the dry and wet, 9.81 seconds on the decay time. I added the reverb to kind of just fill in some dead space um, for the drums. And also by adding the, uh, by using the clap from the original record with the drums at the beginning, kind of get, you kind of get this uh, cohesive feel between all the drums at the beginning so nothing sounds too out of the ordinary. Here are my hi-hats. Now for the hi-hats, brought a little hat into drum rack, added some ping pong delay to kind of fill in space. And the chorus was just to kind of take off some of the top end and made it sound a little bit wider. Now here's all the drums by themselves. Sounds kind of nice. Now I think what really helps this transition along though is the white noise. Now let's listen to this one time real quick just to kind of hear the, how the white noise kind of adds to the drums. As you can hear, the white noise definitely fills in the extra empty space and it kind of builds, um, it opens up, kind of builds into the energy right before the, uh, before the breakdown. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to make that white noise right here in Massive that I just opened up. 
in Massive, you want to make sure all these oscillators are off. So make sure none of these are um, highlighted with the blue. You want to turn on the noise, select white noise. I turn the color all the way up because it just makes it real bright. Um, the amps all the way up. Now I chose a low pass 4 for the filter. And what I did was, let's zoom out of here a little bit. did was I automated this filter right here stacking my paper let's see close this automated this filter so you select massive then I have filter one for cutoff and it's automated as you can see it starts closed so let's watch the filter so it starts closed right here and at the, at the peak of our um, buildup, it's at the top right here. You can see the filters moving, opening up right here. Now after the breakdown, it's going back down. Filters closing again. So that's how you get that white noise in there. And also for the white noise, um, I turned on FX1 and selected Chorus Ensemble. It makes it sound a little bit fuller, you know, not as uh, dry. And sounds, you, you get this nice white effect to it. It sounds really nice. This is DJ Mega Man, and that's how you make a transition in Ableton. Having trouble with your music, we don't know what to do. You're stuck on a project, don't know how you'll make it through. Well, DJ Mega Man is here, he'll turn that frown upside down. We'll show you some cool stuff on the screen of sounds.